More students do well in competitions. And baseball extends their winning streak. All today on On, on the, the Air. Air. I'm thing one, Ryan. I'm thing two, don't they? <laughs> Recently, the Pyarian Register staff competed at J-Day at Ball State. There were nearly 500 entries across the state in the competition for yearbook and school newspaper staff. The Pyarian earned an honorable mention for the yearbook for schools with over 1,000 students and the staff members of both publications earned seven individual awards. Here's a look who won in which category in their work. Congratulations to all the publication students for some great work. It's almost summer and there's a couple of announcements that include information on summer pro programs in the today's <laughs> announcements. That's right, things are starting to fire up for the summer including driver's training, read health camp, and some events for Morrison Reeves Library which is where we start. There's a lot of things going on at Morrison Reeves for May and it includes into the summer. First up for the anime night next week on Wednesday where you can stop and watch anime starting at 5 p.m. On May 18th, there's a meeting of the Teen Advisory Board where you can help advise the library on what kind of summer events and more. On May 25th is the Mario Kart 8 tournament starting at 5 p.m. and finally their writing group will meet at, on May 31st at 5 p.m. But the events don't end with May as their summer program begins with June 6th where you can ready where you can ready up and attend events that and even earn some cash check out at Morrison Reeves Library during May to find out more. The last meeting for this school year of the Gay Straight Alliance will be today after school in Miss Fulvey's room. All members are encouraged to attend. It's time to sign up for the Reed Hospital Health Careers Camp. The camp will be on June 22nd and runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students interested in the health career will get a job shadow in both nursing and allied health careers. There are no costs, but students must have a 2.0 GPA and be a sophomore, junior, or senior for the 2016-17 school year. For an application and more information, see your counselor. If you're looking to check out for any more books from the RHS library, remember that is this Friday, May the 6th, will be the last day to check out. All books are due back next Monday, May the 9th. Conversations about college. Conversemos sobre la universidad. is a special event for Latino families. Evento especial para las familias latinas. Latino families are intended to participate in a discussion to help prepare your students for college. Los invitamos a participar de la discusión que lo ayudará a estar un paso más cerca de poder acceder a estudios Universitarios. Será las Morrison Reeves Biblioteca el 10 de mayo a las 5 y medio. Topics include academic preparation, community support, admissions process, and funding. Temas a discutir, participación académica, apoyo de la comunidad, procesos de admisión y financiamiento y becas. Remember, college can be in your future. Early Universidad puede ser parte de tu futuro. Speech team will continue to meet on Wednesdays. Also, the award banquet for this year's team will take place on Monday, May the 9th at RHS. Please see Mr. Swango to sign up for the banquet. That's your announcements. Now back to the studio. Macy's back, and it's time for the Red Devil forecast. You know what? It's raining again, but we should clear out later, at least for a couple days. Rain will stick around for much of the day and not clear out until late tonight. 
But once it does, we should stay dry until Friday night. Highs will remain cool, barely reaching 60 each day, and even colder overnight with lows in the mid-40s. By Friday, things just start to warm back up. Maybe even feel a little more like summer for the weekend. So be back with us on Friday for the complete weekend forecast. I'm Macy Thornburg with your Richmond Red Devil forecast. Back to you guys in the studio. The weather finally gave RHS Sports a break and we're here with the results with Houston in the Red Devil Sports Center. That's right, the weather cooperated for a change and RHS made the most of it with four big wins. Five if you count Red Devil Baseball's win on Monday. The Red Devils started their week with a shutout of Shenandoah on Monday. The Red Devils won on the arms of Jordan Christian and John Cheatwood 2-0. Christian struck out 4 and Cheatwood 7 to bring the Red Devils to 14-3 overall and 6-1 in the NCC. The boys traveled Arsenal Tech tonight for the last NCC game before beginning the conference tourney on Saturday. Last night, it was RHS versus Muncie as softball and both boys and girls track had matches with the Bearcats. Softball had the easiest time as a run ruled Muncie 14-2. With the win, RHS clinches a home game to start their NCC tournament this Saturday. RHS is 3-0 in the East Division of the NCC and try to remain perfect as they host Arsenal Tech for their final conference games. Both boys and girls track competed were winners last night over the Bearcats. The boys won comfortably 79-63 with big wins from Ryan Yates and Discus, Aaron Thomas and Shotput, Jawan Claiborne in the 100 meters, and Logan Tilton in the third 200. The girls had it a little tougher but pulled out a close win 68-63. Some of the winners for the girls included Jesse Moore in the Shotput and Kirsten Richards and Discus among some of the RHS winners. RHS Track starts their conference meet this Friday night and finishes up on Saturday. The final match of the night was girls tennis who was made at home, making up a match at, with Arsenal Tech. The Lady Red Devils swept Tech 5-0, only dropping one game on the night. RHS is 3-2 and, and travels to Muncie tonight for another NCC match. Now that's sports, now back to you guys in the studio. As we close today, I want to congratulate to both Ms. Johnson, who was named RHS and Richmond Community Schools Teacher of the Year. And Miss Whoopi, who was named the RHCS Administrator of the Year. Congratulations to both, and here's a look at their awards, and have a great day. At this time, I would like to announce the RCS 2016 Teacher of the Year, Celeste Johnson. Okay, at this time, join me in congratulating our 2016 Administrator of the Year, Ray Wolpe. Thank <laughs> you. 